Hey everyone from YouTube. I'm super excited to be back with yet another fun video to help you as you're planning your upcoming weddings of 2022 and 2023. We are Statuesque Events and we specialize in modern multicultural weddings. So we love making videos like this that are targeted to all of our multicultural viewers and multicultural brides. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ethiopian wedding trends to keep in mind for 2022 and 2023. And this holds a very special place in my heart because we love working on our Ethiopian weddings. We have a bunch. I'll leave a couple cards to some of the Ethiopian weddings that you can watch on our YouTube channel, but we love, 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 you know, working on Ethiopian weddings. And I'm excited about some of the trends that we're seeing with our Ethiopian clients. Now, before we go too far, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Faye Shala and I'm the owner of Statuesque Events. We're a wedding planning and design company based in the DC metro area, but we do weddings everywhere. All right, so anywhere from Florida to Vegas to Connecticut, we've done it and we love traveling to produce beautiful, modern multicultural events. I'm also a coach to wedding planners and I run a coaching program uh, which helps planners through the business of wedding planning. So again, if you're interested in hiring us as wedding planners or as your coach anywhere in the US, make sure you check the description box because I've left all the information on how to connect with me there. But back to the video for today, I'm super excited to be sharing just a few, three trends that I see with Ethiopian weddings moving forward and I'm excited um, just to share this all with you. So the first trend that we're seeing at a lot of Ethiopian weddings that makes us excited is choosing to go with a sweetheart table for two instead of having a big head table for the entire bridal party. Now, I know that traditionally you have a long estate table for everyone in the bridal party and it's uh, a staple and it's, it's a tradition, but a lot of our clients are moving towards a more modern approach of having just two people at the estate table, uh, which gives you a little bit of intimacy with your husband or your fiance, right? It gives you that time. And it also allows us to go really over the top with the decor around the sweetheart table and build something very modern and very beautiful. So we're loving this new trend of seeing our Ethiopian clients moving to the model of having a sweetheart table for two instead of having a really long head table at the front of the room. Um, and we're, we're just loving it. It also honestly gives you room to have a really big bridal party because with a really big bridal party, it can really be hard to fit everyone at a head table. But when they have their own tables, you can just go wild and go crazy with that bridal party. And you don't have to worry about how much space it's going to take up. So this is something that we're seeing as a trend moving forward, right, into 2022 and 2023. And we hope that this is helpful for you as you're planning and just thinking through things with your event. Another big trend that we're seeing is more destination weddings. Um, as I speak, I'm actually preparing for a trip to Key West as we're planning one of our Ethiopian weddings clients in Key West. Um, she actually considered a few places outside of the country, but Key West is gorgeous, so we decided to go there. And destination events are always a fun and beautiful way just to gather your family, bring everyone together. And we're really excited about this and we're excited about this trend. Now that the world is opening up again after the pandemic and everything, people are excited to travel. And it's a beautiful thing for them to be able to travel for your wedding or for you to kind of give them that excuse to travel and try new things right so we're loving this new trend of destination weddings in other cities and other countries for our ethiopian clients and we're really excited about the one that we have coming up and the third trend which is a little related to trend number two is that a lot of our ethiopian clients we're seeing are starting to have their melts a few months after the wedding day right and this again is attributed to two things number one with the pandemic, certain people weren't able to have a huge wedding, so their mouse um, is just a little later as opposed to it being the very next day, which is done, you know, traditionally you have the melts the very next day. But because of the pandemic and everything, not everyone was able to do that because they had, you know, smaller micro weddings or elopements. The second reason is because of destination events, right? For many people, when you're getting married in a destination, um, you want to come back home to do the mouse, right? So even our client who's getting married in... Florida is coming back to Maryland <laughs> to do her mails and she's doing it a little later. Um, so just kind of like maybe taking the, the so kind of taking the pressure off from having to have the mouse the very next day after the wedding does help you to open up your horizons and be able to have your wedding in other places. And that's definitely a big trend that we're starting to see. And that makes us excited, right? You know, because you still want to do something at home and that's a beautiful way to do it. So that brings me to the end of my three tips, my three trends that we're seeing moving forward into 2022 and 2023. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that you hit that like button and also make sure that you subscribe because we've got so many more things coming your way just to help you with planning your beautiful weddings coming up in 2022 and 2023. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video, but till then, have an awesome day.